Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about Mahinjadaro. What? You've never heard of Mahinjadaro? Well, it did exist between four and five thousand years ago. Along the Indus River in ancient India. So how do we know anything about Mahinjadaro? Mahinjadaro man isn't around to ask. So we use artifacts and a lot of guessing. Mahinjadaro was built on the banks of the Indus River in modern day Pakistan. All that's left are the excavated ruins, but we can learn a lot from them. For example, we can see that the city was well planned with streets and blocks like a modern city. Also, Mahinjadaro was a large city of around 50,000 people. Archaeologists found weights and scales near the granary. This might suggest that the ancient Indians used grain like money. They may have weighed the grain for trade or for taxes. One of the most amazing finds at Mahinjadaro was the Great Bath. It was 39 feet long, 8 feet deep, and made of waterproof brick. It had dressing rooms, a well that supplied water, and a drain to empty the dirty water. It may have been used for bathing, or for cooling off on a hot day, or perhaps for religious rituals. Archaeologists found statues that showed what the people looked like and what they wore. They also found beautiful beads and jewelry all over Mahinjadaro. One of the most mysterious finds at Mahinjadaro were small stone seals with pictographs on them. Nobody can read the pictographs and scientists aren't sure what the seals were used for. Maybe they were charms or a form of identification, perhaps a stamp for documents. Here's something I bet you didn't know. Mahinjadaro had a complex sewer system with drains, pipes, wells, and bathrooms. Yeah, something we take for granted. But Mahinjadaro had a sewer system 2,000 years before one was seen again in Rome. Dirty water and waste flowed in channels along the streets and out into the Indus River. Because of this complex sewer system, rich and poor had bathrooms in their homes. Imagine how convenient that would be. In addition to the sewer system, archaeologists have uncovered rows and rows of two-story houses with flat roofs. Like everything else in the Hinchidara, they were made of mud brick. The richer you were, the bigger your house. Games were discovered at Mahinjadaro, which means the people had some leisure time. They found dice, game boards, stone balls, clay tracks, and possibly chess pieces. Archaeologists will use anything they can to learn more about the people of Mohenjo-daro, like these small clay statues that they found. For example, this one shows that they had small two-wheeled carts pulled by oxen. Maybe they used them to transport their goods to market. So what happened to Mohenjo-daro? How come you've never heard of them? Nobody knows for sure. Some archaeologists think they were conquered by invaders who destroyed their city. Others think natural disasters like floods and earthquakes ruined the civilization. Still others believe the Indus River changed its course and people moved to find a stable water supply. And there's a theory out there that an atomic bomb destroyed the city. There's evidence of radioactivity and extreme heat. And don't forget the aliens. Who knows, if they built the pyramids, maybe they destroyed Mohenjo-daro. What we do know is that a very sophisticated civilization thrived for over 800 years. They built a city that supported over 50,000 people. They had weights and scales to measure grain. They had a great bath with wells and drains. They made beautiful beads and jewelry. They had a sewer system 2,000 years before anyone else and toilets in every house. They built rich and poor homes along streets in an organized grid. They had time to play games and create artwork and statues. And they disappeared around 1900 BC and took the secrets of Mohenjo-daro with them.